Bulldozer of Power are taking on the Lingo Blend All Stars today. Some changes to the Bulldozer Power lineup. Crampons is out. Hatchet Malibu's back in for another go uh, to see if maybe she can cut through. Uh, Eyeliner wasn't up in the pitching rotation, but we're, we're putting him in anyway because uh, Vivian Crumble still struggling under the injury she took last time she uh, led us off there. So uh, a little bit experimental, but uh, with a with a winning record, uh, we've got nothing to lose, and we might as well try out new things to see what happens. Uh, speaking of new things, here's Cindy Vapid, and uh, she'll be facing off against Frida Potassium to get us underway today. Let's strike two already. Uh, okay, all right. Well, Cindy's gone there for now. Uh, Chris Biscuit hussing it over there to uh, Reverend Joe Skirmish. And uh, is it Reverend Joe? No, yeah, I think it might be Rick Skirmish, his brother. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, here is Malibu. And another strike. Flipping it. Uh, Potassium is on the game today. Uh, on her game, I should say. Not the game. That's a slightly different. Maybe that's not the sort of conversation we should be having about now. She's out anyway. Here's Failure coming in third. Uh, hoping to clean up on the two runners who've made it to base so far. No, oh, hold on. No, that didn't happen. Uh, and failure swings at a low. He's gone. All right. Well, you know, it's always good to uh, to get that edgy first inning out of the way. And uh, the All-Stars will be up next. It's Rick Skirmish. Rick Skirmish is playing game today. Not Reverend Joe. I'm not even sure Reverend Joe is a skirmish. I can't remember. It's been a while since, uh, since we've seen him in action. Who does he play for? Don't know. Uh, anyway, Des Eyeliner is doing the business for us today, and uh, and we're going to be hoping for a good showing from him. He is our finest pitcher, at least according to the numbers. Uh, whether or not he is the finest pitcher will depend on his pitching that he delivers finally about now. That's a good pitch. There it is. There she blows. Uh, Eyeliner getting it done early with a strikeout. Uh, Justine Vanderpol is, uh, is next up to bat, and... Uh, I, I don't know Justine Vanderpol. I don't think she's one of mine. In which case, how does she make it into the lineup? Des has got this. Good work, lad. Nice work. Solid. He's keeping it efficient. Here is Rick Skirmish. Uh, five home runs for him this season. He's, uh, he's having a good time of it. Uh, the All-Stars do have a winning record. Not quite as strong as the record of, uh, of Bulldozer Power, but a good one. And he's out of here. Right, that's that dealt with. First inning, sorted. Papal Event Horizon will lead us off for uh, inning number two. Six home runs for him and uh, 22 runs batted in, but that's his role in the batting order. So uh, we'll we'll see if he can uh, he can turn in. Maybe maybe a base hit would be nice. You know that's that's democratic. That's what people like. All right. Okay. Well, fair enough. Swings for the fence. Gets out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Furious. Also has 22 runs batted in and uh, and was for a long time our leading hitter. Uh, but is that going to hold today? Yes, finally, we get someone on base. Amazing. No, I don't know. It's just incredible scenes here. Uh, the crowd going wild. And uh, Zoltan Zoltan uh, is going to try and do something uh, about this. Aren't you, Zoltan? He's not going anywhere. Oh, heck. Which button is Advance All versus Advance One? Can't remember. Probably won't matter anyway. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Zoltan gets himself killed and uh, and does his friend at the same time. Solid effort. Good work all round there. And that's the end of two. Okay. Here's Ziggy Whippet, the right fielder. He's only batting 148, although with those sunglasses and that face shield that he's got going on, it's hardly surprising. He can barely see. But uh, no, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he'll surprise us all. Maybe there is a, a surprise waiting somewhere here. In a, in a zig, Ziggy Whippet shaped hole. Uh, he stuck that one in the audience. And uh, let's see if he uh, falls for something like this. Well, not so much, but Malibu's there. And... Wow. I mean, she could have thrown that ball a little bit slower if she tried. But uh, not much slower. Here's Janet Mission. And, uh, well, inside pitch. Does that mean do it or don't do it? Uh, don't know. Hard to say. Um... Yeah, I, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't adequately tell you whether that means I should. Uh, I should pitch to her outside or not. But given that I favour pitching inside to people anyway, I think I'll probably continue to do that. Now, if we put it in something, something cunning that lands about there, this could be another strikeout, or or, or not. You know, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. A sinker. All right, hatchet. Throw it real hard, hatchet. Oh, 
sometime next week. It arrived. Here's Michael Poems. Uh, he's, uh, he's con versus RHP. Well, I understand the right-handed pitcher uh, aspect of that, but con, yeah, your guess is... He concentrates. He's, uh, he's uh, concertinaed against right-handed pitchers, which is deadly for those in the know. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, come on. Come on, Des. Spongy. Gets the ball, and it's away. And so far, Baldo's power yet to give up a hit. I mean, that's not too much to be proud of, given that we've only actually got one hit ourselves. Uh, here's big Steve Morrie. Big old smile from Steve. He's uh, he's thrilled to still be in the lineup, but his replacement is Julius Hardware, so he's got no real... Oh, no real... No, yeah, whatever. Here's Kojak Mister on. Um, rather enjoying playing eight, uh, but... <laughs> Are we getting the best of it? That's the question. Well, we'll we'll find out, won't we? Uh, if she gets on base, and then oh, that's a nice hit. That's a good one. Yep. Okay. Right. Yes. Is the answer to the question is Kojak in the right position? Yeah. Yeah. I think she. I think she probably is. Uh, and that's uh, her sixth home run of the season, and that opens the scoring today. Uh, here's Des Eyeliner. Uh, he's back to three six four, which is a pitcher. That's pretty good. Yeah. There you go. Just swing at the first one, Des. It's all good. I don't mind if you get out. I just don't want you to get hit by the ball. Because uh, that would that would be rotten. Uh, Cindy, back round for her second spin at things. Uh, can she have a bit more success this time? Yes. And she's away. She's off to the races. Uh, Cindy Vapid. She's going for three. She's going for three. Cindy's going for three. A triple from Cindy Vapid. Read it and weep. You lingo Ben blend punks. Uh, here is Hatchet Malibu with the opportunity to knock in a run. Uh, but uh, she's got to hit it first. Not like that though. No, that was a bit wide. Don't don't snatch at it. Wait for your pitch. That wasn't your pitch. No. Opportunity wasted there. But a, but a very nice triple from uh, from Cindy. Uh, following on from a, a Kojak Mr. On home run. That's, uh, that's glorious. Here's Jenny J. Sonar. Uh, five home runs for her this season. And uh, she's got uh, power. She's got power versus right-handed pitchers. Gotcha. All right. Well, presumably then con would be contact. So they get a little contact boost, making them more likely to hit the pitch. Gotcha. Right. Okay. I'm in the zone. I'm on the ball. Uh, I'm under the weather. Let's go. Solid. And Eyeliner does it. She appeals to the umpire. The umpire goes... Out, um, and that's the end of that. Here's Perry Rage quit. Uh, he's uh, he's well, we're we're into the tail end of the order now, so uh, he's he's not one of their finest. That one's gone skyward. Zoltan, are you there for it, Zoltan? Yeah, Zoltan's feeling it, and he's now feeling it. That will bring up the pitcher through the potassium. Uh, well, you never know. Uh, we've we've given up hits to uh, to pitchers in the past, so I wouldn't like to guess that that Des will deal with her readily and simply. Malibu, nice throw, perhaps. Good times. Out number three, and uh, BDP still yet to give up a hit, but <laughs> it's full dose of power, right? So it's going to happen. So uh, that will bring Ulysses failure up for his second at bat. He's batting 400 this year. Four home runs, 22 runs batted in, and uh, what's he got for us today? He's, uh, he's got out on the per first pitch. Ah, yeah. nice. Ah, strategy. Uh, here's Papal Event Horizon, uh, batting 3-6-9. So, uh, so he, he whiffs a bit, does uh, does Papal. But sometimes he hits it, and when he does, he hits it very hard. Or directly to a fielder. One of the two. Ah, never in between. No. Uh, this time, however, he's standing his ground as he uh, as he soaks up three balls on the trot. He could have dashed, should have swung at that, even though it's a three and zero count. That one's gone foul, bringing up the full count. Three balls, two strikes, and a foul. Okay, come on, keep it coming. That one's going to be caught, and Papal's history. Here's Furious, uh, one for one. He got on base with his first at bat, but uh, he's, he's going to need to do more than that this time around because. You know, we've got two outs already. No, it wasn't. That wasn't a strike. You're joking. Uh, no, no, Furious, get back. Come on, that one didn't count. And he's he's kind of trickled that one up the field. It's not going to be... Oh, it's close, but it's out. 
So not that close. No, no, just isn't. So two strikeouts so far uh, for uh, for Des Eyeliner, and uh, he's round to uh, to have a word with Christopher Biscuit again, uh, and uh, we'll see if there's any kind of conversation that happens here. Nice pitch there. I thought that was possibly a little bit too insidey. That one's gone long and high. I don't think it's got the distance, and neither does Zoltan, who now owns the ball. He's added that to his collection. He keeps a bag at the uh, at the rear fence. Uh, sells them on eBay after the after the uh, game. He signs the ball as well. Yeah, I know, it's, it's quite a popular fan item. Many people have one of Zoltan's balls, and uh, they. No, oh, no, I'm probably done with that bit as well, Ashley. I, I don't know where it was going. Probably nowhere good. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Spongy to first, and that's out number two. Uh, Bulldogs power defensively playing pretty well, and you have to say it's probably down to the pitcher. Uh, actually, using a pitcher who knows how to throw for a change. Yeah, miraculous scenes. Uh, everybody's uh, up and wild. That one straight down the middle, pretty much, apart from it being a curveball. Uh, that, that's a nice pitch. Yep, that one's fouled out as well. Come on, Des, nuke him. No. Yes. <laughs> Why did you think that wasn't going to be legit, you idiot? Uh, okay, well, eyeliner, four clean innings for him. I should just sub him out now to make his stats look good. Uh, here's Zoltan. He is tense. He, I think he might be on a bit of a hitting drought of late. Uh, but we'll see if maybe uh, maybe the rain can pour from the bat of Zoltan uh, in the next moment or two. Strike two, ball one. Zoltan feels it. Oh, snatched from the air by Janet Mission. And uh, Zoltan, no end to the drought there. Uh, some pop stars will have some kind of charity record for him out before too long. Steve Morey now uh, is going to see if he can't do anything. Anything, Steve. Anything at all. That's it, Steve there. Puts in the low bouncer up to centre field and he'll advance to first base. And that's why he's Steve Morey and you're not. Uh, here's Kojak, batting 483. She is arguably, arguably our number one... Uh, uh, batting average player at the current time. Uh, I think it's between her and Furious, but I think Furious was only 430 odds. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, either way, Kojak Misteron is jolly impressive. Thanks, Universe. Okay, bottom of the fifth now, and, uh, and Ziggy Whippet, who has contact bonus versus right handed pitchers. That's what that means. Yeah. And, uh, and as things stand... Oh, Des, you absolute legend. I've seen other pitchers not pick them up. Uh, but Des is getting this done in a very short number of pitches. This is only his 36th, uh, no, 37th pitch coming up now. And we're in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, he's, uh, he's, putting on, he's putting on quite the display. Well, he's putting on a display. Uh, that one's up. Come on, Steve. Steve, 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 Steve. Got it. Lovely. Yeah, single pitch outs. Love him. Love him. Absolutely love it. This guy's got contact versus right-handed pitchers. Uh, okay. Who is it? It's Michael Poems. Okay. Have you got a poem for us, Michael? Yes. There was a young baseball player called Michael. Yep. And that's it. I couldn't figure out a rhyme for Michael. Good. Well, classic work. Shows why you are the poet laureate of the team. Strikeouts! Des Eyeliner does it again. Tremendous, tremendous play all round. Uh, I've done it saying that Des hasn't pitched many times. Neither has Frida Potassium. She's only thrown 42 so far. Uh, but has given up four hits. And it is Des who's uh, who's up for a up for a spit, bit of a bat now. Des, just hang in here for a bit. Alright? Let her throw away some, uh, some more arm strength. No, says Des. I'll have that one. And uh, Desmond Eyeliner, the pitcher, advances to first, which is something that several players on the team have so far failed to do. Uh, here's Cindy Vapid. Got herself a triple last time round, which is great, uh, but it didn't end up in a score, which is not so great. But it's, uh, it's early days yet. Ball one, strike one. Cindy waiting for her moment. And when her moment comes, she'll take it. Ball three. No rush, Cindy. No rush. He's a pitcher. He's not going to steal. I, I, what do you think you're dealing with here? Some kind of superhero. 
And that's a walk for Cindy Vapid. Having patience, and that was almost a swear word there from the pitcher uh, in, a, in a startling piece of animation. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Uh, she's batting 350, which is, I mean, it's respectable, but you'd want, you'd want more. You'd want more than that from, a, uh, from an A-rated player, especially when her throwing is so pitiful. So, uh, strike one, two balls now. And uh, Malibu, don't forget, coming in for fan favourite Bernie Crampons. Uh, many of that actually that. Um, no, that was just a fine pitch. I I could have sworn that one was going going wild, and uh, and we let it go. And that's uh, Hatchet Malibu struck out. Oh dear. Yeah. It's Ulysses failure. Maybe he can do something with uh, runners at first and second. Uh, she likes sticking them in there, and they're quite difficult to get to. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's, a, it's a toughie. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could have left that. That's strike two. And failure has done the damage and got everybody out. That's a, I think that's our third double play that we've coughed up in the game so far. And another opportunity just left floundering away there. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power are vulnerable. Um, this is uh, the 44th pitch from uh, from Dez Island. It's a beauty, um, and uh, yep, you have to hope that he's got enough left in him uh, because uh, right now he's the one holding the game together. <laughs> yes, says Dez. <laughs> Kapla. Um, for Dez Eyeliner is of course Park Klingon, and uh, there's there's that. Shut up, I'm not that big and I am that big a nerd. Um, Zoltan. Zoltan gets to the ball, Zoltan. Zoltan, have you got it or what? Thank you. Give me some kind of clue that you're, that you're going to catch the thing, man. Anyway, he did. And that's it. They've had enough of Freddy Potassium. They're bringing in Viggity Viking. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see if, if, if Viggy can do anything. What are your averages there? 4 7 1 and 3 home runs. A strong player. Okay. All right. Coming off the bench. Uh, will this Fox Big Dez eyeliner... Is he, is he, is he a Big Dez eyeliner? He, he is today. He's uh, he's quite a hero. He's had a hit. He's struck people out. Uh, what else has he done? He fielded one. He, he did. He caught someone earlier on as well. All right. Yeah. All right. I, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, they're very angry there. And uh, Viggity Viking is gone. And Hunter Marigold is going to come in and pitch. Uh, a bit tense and uh, wobbling around full fitness as we head into the top of the seventh inning. And it's Papal Event Horizon still looking to try and make something happen today. Ah, uh, it's ball number one. Come on, Papal. Come on, son. I believe in you. It's ball two. Papal Event Horizon. That's uh, ball three. Hunter Marigold. His accuracy, not all that. Yeah, no, we, we just allowed that one to be a thing. Uh, this one. Yeah, we'll allow that too. Full count now. Papal. Oh, so close to being an absolute dynamite hit, that one. But it wasn't. That one, however, business as usual. And Papal Event Horizon heads back to the dugout for some crumpets. Uh, here's Furious Sponge Bath. One of two. Uh, from his opportunities at bat today. Oh, gently does it there, uh, uh, Mr. Marigold. I, if you wouldn't mind sticking one on target, we'll have a swing at it for you. Ball three. No strikes yet. And he wasn't about to start then. Furious gets a walk. Okay. All right. Fine. Here's Zoltan. He hasn't had a hit yet today either. Uh, he's not alone in that, of course. Uh, but, it, you know, these are our hitters right here. We're, in, we're into hitter central. At this stage in the lineup, and uh, and therefore you hope that one of them's going to have a go. And Zoltan's had a go. That's very, very, very high, and it's in the crowd. And that's two runs batted in with a nice homer uh, from Zoltan. And uh, and Bulldozer Power still look to be in control at the current time. Their batting may be erratic, but their defensive play so far has been bang on the money. Um, and it, that's that's good stuff. Here's Big Steve. Strike one. Yeah. That's ball one. Steve in no hurry. Uh, we're certainly using up this pitcher's enthusiasm for life. Uh, Steve's gone. Um, 
we're, we've used up 16, 17 pitches from him already so far today. And uh, and that's that's not going to leave him in a good mood, is, uh, is Kojak. Doesn't hang around. Has she got it? She's got it. Kojak out to first. Uh, that'll bring Des Eyeliner up to bat. And uh, I'll tell you something else. Is Mojo. He's on fire. I'm keeping him in. Yep. Yep. You can stay in, Des. Let's see what you can do for us. Well, Des liked it. No. No, surely not. That's, uh, that's your uh, MVP for today. Right there. That's Des... Des does everything eyeliner and I think his stock in terms of fan favoritism just went up quite a bit uh, a Desmond eyeliner home run there he is the pitcher and he's been in for seven innings already well well how I mean and as far as as far as the uh, Hunter Marigold is concerned he's, when he sees the opposing pitcher hit a dinger off him he's just going to go oh, I hate you and everything about it and I think I might be out of a job he's got a family to support and uh, you know he's uh, he's in the last couple of months of his contract and I have to say I don't think that contract's getting renewed no I, I think he's he's probably done for uh, it's going to leave him destitute in a city that he doesn't rightly understand Malibu oh good effort on the dive but didn't make it and I think we've actually finally given up a base hit there Surely we've given up one before now. I'm not sure that we have, you know. That might be the first hit we've given up today, and uh, it was a good, it was a good hit, and we nearly got it. All right, okay. Well, maybe Malibu's purpose in life is to be uh, an expert fielder. Maybe uh, Zoltan gets an easy catch in centre field for the uh, first outs of the inning. Uh, here's Rick Skirmish. Well, uh, Des, what have you thrown? Fifty-six. Uh, he seems to have quite a bit left in the tank. I think we probably will substitute him uh, for his next at-bat. Uh, just purely to keep him in one piece. Then we can bring him up in the rotation once again. That one's got some distance. Zoltan's in the vicinity. And like that, uh, a beautiful game for Bulldozer Power was, was shattered. Uh, and their lead is cut to three. As, uh, as a home run there is done off Des Eyeliner, who is no longer on fire. Des Eyeliner now is uh, is not living the dream as much as he was doing previously. Uh, now he's living business as usual. Furious! What a flipping catch! Oh, that was, that was a belt. It might not look like much to you, but I pressed the button at exactly the right time to make him dive upwards and outwards to catch that. I don't, trust me, there was some actual games playing skill going on there. Like, you know... Vid and again, exactly the same move. And spongy, uh, with a beautiful play, is uh, is golden. Golden is what he is. So here we go. It's uh, it's Hatchet Malibu. She's not confident. No, she's been out three times. Struck out on the last one. And uh, Hunter Marigold is being uh, replaced by Ramsey Pothole. Uh, he's got good. He's got good numbers everywhere, apart from accuracy. So we might just have to wait this out. And, uh, and then stroll it. We'll see how we get on. No, no, Hatchet's not waiting. That's promising. And uh, the Malibu drought is over. The rains have fallen. The monsoon season is upon us. And uh, Hatchet Malibu gets her first run, home run of the year. And that will do a great deal to, uh, to restore her confidence in her own abilities. As the pitcher throws one at failure. Go, why are you striking? Why, why? Why are you doing that? Just wait him out. He's an idiot. Okay. All right. You sure? Yeah, look at that. Ah, what a load of rubbish. That one, though. That was quite good. That could be good enough. And failure will get on base for, I believe, the first time today. Well, good. Good. I mean, that's the kind of morale boost you want for your players. You want them to be able to, you know, hang in there, build some confidence. Build, now, what are you doing, people? You flipping idiot! Uh, anyway, just, just hang in. Look, look at his, look at his accuracy stat. It's gone. It's totally disappeared. He has zero accuracy currently. And uh, a failure is making a move for second. 
That was us stealing the base there, friends. Ah, uh, that was yes, That was pretty... I mean, it took me long enough to decide whether or not I was going to do it, but hey, we got there. And Failure is, I think, the fastest player on the team. Oh, blimey. That's out number one. Yeah. Inaccurate he may be, but able to catch other players are. And uh, this is Furious Spongy, and uh, he's, he's just coming off a, a terrific piece of fielding. Uh, but uh, can he do a terrific piece of batting? Some of these are actually landing on target. And, uh, what's, what's the game plan here, Furious? Come on, concentrate, man. Ball two, strike two, Furious Sponge Bath. He's waiting for it to happen. There's ball three. Come on, then. Oh, you wazzock. And Furious has uh, popped that one up, and that will be out number two. Uh, here's Zoltan. Had a home run so far today. Uh, we got a runner on seconds. Two outs. Bottom of the uh, top of the, beg your pardon, eighth. And he's, no, he's gone. Potholes out. Uh, Quebec Spire is coming in, and his confidence is lacking. Oh, and he beans Zoltan. No. No, the big man will not stand for that. No, he'll, he'll probably hobble a little bit, maybe have a bit of a sit down. Uh, here's Steve Morrie. Two outs. I don't want to be relying on Steve Mori to make the magic happen, but here we are. No, that's ball number two. Quebec Spire really does not look uh, confident. That's okay, it's Steve, isn't it? And Steve blows another opportunity for the team. Um, I've, I have a feeling, I mean, the commenters last time around were being a little bit judgmental on Steve Mori, saying that he should be out and hardware should be in. Uh, but uh, we hate Julius Hardware. Any questions? Uh, here's Michael Poems. Uh, he's uh, 0 for 2 today. He's, uh, he's 234 for the season. And uh, Des Island is starting to look a little bit flimsy. I think we'll allow him two hits. Uh, if he, uh, when he gives up his second hit, we'll take him out. That's promising. Oh, Papal with solid effort there. Uh, couldn't quite get to it. And, uh, and that's hit number one. All right. Come on, Des. I think you've probably done enough for today, but you know, let's see if you can't uh, you can't finish what you started. We're giving you the opportunity. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, we we threw to the wrong base there, but I've never once picked off someone trying to steal second, so uh, it's no big deal. Furious. All right. Well, he threw it the long way, and we got one out there. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of just gently throwing it around the entire field, and uh, we we managed to get an out. Uh, we got a stealer. We've got this. We've got that. There's a lot of notifications going on at the moment, and I'm not entirely sure I understand many of them. Uh, but uh, but Des is still feeling it. Uh, Furious is going to have that one. Aren't you? The, the Papal, big pardon. Sorry, Furious plays third. Uh, Papal plays right field, and and the two are <laughs> I get them all. I get them both confused. On a regular basis, based on their appeal. No, Quebec Spire have had enough of him. Uh, they're bringing in MC Kaiser Extreme uh, for a bit of pinch hitting. And uh, let's uh, let's see what he's got playing uh, in his earphones. What have you got on your batting iPod there, MC Kaiser? All right, that's uh, ball one, strike one. And uh, Des is, Des is kind of going to try and cap off a, a pretty solid game so far if he can get this one away. He's up to bat pretty soon, so we'll we'll let him sit down and uh, take it easy. Papal's in the zone. Out number three. And uh, Kaiser Extreme's off. Ted Shirley's coming in. He's not at full fitness, but he does actually look like a, a reasonably good pitcher by comparison to the others that we see. Uh, it's Kojak, two. Uh, no, two hits for her today, one of which was a home run. And uh, she's. Uh, I think she might well be leading the charge. Oh, and with that hit, she definitely is. Uh, in terms of being your MVP for the day. Although, no, saying that, Des Eyeliner, innit? All right, Des, do you want to have a hit? Des, do you? Yeah, all right. Come on, Des, I'll give you a hit. It's not going to wear you out anymore. Oh, Des. Des, so much belief in himself. Uh, remember, he is only a pitcher, and therefore we shouldn't expect too much of him. But the swinging high once again, Des doesn't manage to pull that one off. Uh, here's Cindy Vapid, a triple and a walk in her carousel of batting today. Uh, can she uh, can she ride that mechanical pony any further here in the ninth inning? No. She's out, caught in uh, caught in centre field. 
That's okay. That's all right. We're we're ahead by some. Okay. Right. Here's uh, here's Hatchet Malibu. A uh, successful home run from her in the last inning. Uh, last at bat, beg your pardon. Um, and uh, she'll be she'll be hoping to kind of demonstrate that she does know how to uh, how to swing a bat. Well, yeah, she definitely swung the bat there, but she she swung it all the way to getting out. Yes. Okay. Well, it's substitution time. Christopher Biscuit, one of three for him so far today, and uh, and he's going to uh, go up against whoever we substitute in as our fresh pitcher. Uh, should we bring in the conservative? I rather think we will. Okay, it's Jeff the conservative uh, who's coming in uh, to see if he can't round this one out for us. That one's gone straight to Hatchet. Who flings it over first, and that's out number one. Two opportunities left for the All-Stars to try and pull their way back into this game. I don't think they're going to do it. But... I usually don't think they're going to do it when a lead that we've built up over the course of the game evaporates in one inning. So, you know, what do I know? I, I, you know, I just press the buttons and make the sounds. Uh, Jeff Fields won there. That's uh, out number two. Here's Rick Skirmish. He's got a home run today. Smug git. Uh, so, uh, you know, maybe he's feeling like I can, I can control the outcome of my own destiny on myself. Maybe that's what he thinks. Maybe he thinks, oh, nice, Jeff Conservative, my nemesis. That one's gone to Cindy, and uh, that is a walk in the park for Bulldozer Power. Uh, a superbly played game. Uh, didn't even give up a hit for, I don't know how long. Maybe the stat sheet will tell us. Not that one. No? Okay. What about this one? Will this one tell us? How many hits did we give? We gave up two, uh, two runs, two hits. Three hits. Three hits, two runs is all we gave up. Oh, yeah. I know, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good going. Uh, I would say that Des Eyeliner is going to be your hero of the day, and if he isn't, it's a complete travesty. Kojak Mister on. What are you talking about? Three or four at bat, yeah. A home run, two runs batted in. Yes. How many strikeouts did she throw? None. That's how many. I don't care what anyone says, Des Eyeliner. I mean, you know, Kojak, solid job. Great, uh, great work from her batting eighth. But even so, Des Highliner was the business. Right, we've got 11 games to watch now in order to bring us up to speed. And first up, you've got Cheerio Inc. up against the Beekeepers. The Beekeepers, who aren't looking quite as deadly as they did early in the season, but they are still the top rated. Cheerio Inc. just absolutely whomped them 15 to nothing. And that's done Cheerio's. Uh, Opportunities for postseason play. The power of good is there now, 9-9. Nine and nine. Uh, Here come the Pathfinders up against the Axemen. Uh, a close run game is sure to be had, and the Axemen come out on top. An important one, that, in the Whoop Whoop division. We'll review the divisions at the end of the show, obviously. We always do. Here are the Wretched Minstrels, 11-5, up against the Pathfinders, who are probably out of it now. And, uh, well, they're, they're, I mean, they're still putting up a fight, but the Minstrels have got them 12-9. to nine. Here are the Axemen in business once again against Cheerio Inc. Cheerio Inc. now need every win they can get. DJ Doughboy uh, pitching against Susie Mutton. Let's see how it goes. The Axemen uh, to take the first lead there and they win the game as well at the end of the game. And that, you would have to say, is probably the end of Cheerio Inc. for this season. Uh, here are the Nomads taking on the Port Miggins Pirates. Uh, neither team really in much of a shot of making postseason play, so it's it's they're just playing for the fun of it all, and because they're contractually obliged to do so. Is Peninsula Transport uh, one of them won it? Uh, Peninsula Transport taking on Stardozer Human Resources, and they're both ten and five. Uh, this could be a high-scoring affair or not. Four to three, Stardozer win it. Big game. Uh, Grazer Ridge, who are done for the year, are taking on the Nomads, who are currently 8-8. Eight and eight. The Nomads theoretically could make postseason, uh, but they're going to need to win this one, which they don't. Good times. Uh, the Grazer Ridge are back in action again against the Bumson Medics, who are 8-9. and nine. The Medics also needing wins, and they're going the right way about it. Although they let Grazer Ridge back in, they managed to squeak out a victory there. Failurewood Hills on 10 and 8, taking on Urg Mayon. Merbeck, Merbeck, oh, flaming stupid name. Who came up with that? Me. I did. Okay. Urg Mellon Flex, 5 and 12. Well, you would think that the Hills are just going to walk this one, but the Chroniclers have gone off to a big lead and managed to, con uh, managed to control the game at the end and win it. 
the Chroniclers are back in action again against Cheerio Inc., who need something. And they're not get they are getting it. There you go. Cheerio Inc. with another win. Uh, taking them to a 10 and 10 record. Gracious me. Last game of the uh, of the week, and it's the Port Miggins Pirates. They're they're a nothing, right? They're just a nothing. I guess Peninsula Transport, who are challenging for uh, at, uh, would they would you call it a pennant? I, I think you do call it the pennant, don't you? Anyway, they won. Uh, and they're in the same division as me. Ooh, bad guys. Um, so there we go. Here's the roundup. Uh, Stardos of Human Resources are 11 and 5. Colonel School 11 and 7. This is a 20 game season before we head into the playoffs. Uh, the Nomads 8 and 9 are, uh, are capable of an 11 win year. They're capable of it, and that might be enough. Uh, Colonel Space Agency 6 and 11 are done. Uh, Port Miggins Pirates on 5 and 12 are history. Over in the Bombastic, Bulldozer Power lead the way on 12 and 4, ahead of Peninsula Transport on 11 and 6. Bulldozer Power with a nice cushion there. Uh, the Medics ha are on 9 and 9. There's probably some maths that sees them play in postseason, but I would not take out a bet on them now. They have two games left to play. They need to win them both. Uh, Lingo Blend All Stars 7 and 11 are finished, as are Grazer Ridge on 6 and 12. In whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, you've got uh, the Ob City Axemen on 11 and 7 with two games still to play for them. Failurewood Hills on 10 and 9, and they've got one game left. So the best they can do is tie with the Axemen, who have a massive run difference in their favour. I think the Axemen are going to take the division. Uh, meanwhile, you've got the Pathfinders finished. Uh, Ugmelon Flex, nope. And the Sunshine Fun Bus, uh uh. Down in Sloganator, and the beekeepers have slowed up a bit in the later part of the season. They're now 13 and 3. They're still ahead by loads. They've got four games to play. Uh, the Minstrels, meanwhile, have three games to play, uh, but are 12 and 5. So they've they've got their work cut out for them if they want to take the uh, the Sloganator. Uh, the Steganauts on 9 and 8. Could happen. Probably won't. Uh, and then Cheerio Inc. on 10 and 10. Their season is done, and so are their chances. Sports Ball Union, 6 and 11. We won't be seeing them again. I've been Colonel Failure. Be sure to subscribe to this channel in order to keep up with all of the hottest sporting action. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.